Okay, assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Tekken Ninja Muhammad. So this is a special video with the Poco M3, again PUBG test, gaming test, but today we're going to compare three different uh, graphic uh, graphics levels, uh, graphic settings, if I can call it like that. So this is a Snapdragon 662 device with Adreno 610. This, uh, obviously, this is an octa-core chip, clocked at 2 gigahertz. Yeah, and we have Adreno 610 like Sibasaf. This is a full HD plus resolution, but since uh, PUBG is a heavy game, especially for low-end games, Games, low end smartphones, low end chips, low end chipsets. We'll be using Ninja's 720p resolution for this test, and these are the settings, Ninja. These are the settings. What I'm gonna use, what I'm gonna change in this video, in these three uh, three part gameplays, this level graphics. I'm gonna use smooth, balanced, and HD. So three different videos, three different gameplays. I'm gonna try to do three uh, split screen uh, option, and so you can see it side by side. Uh, obviously, uh, comparison. Everything else will be on the default with the GFX tool, like see stuff yeah there you go if you want to pause this video pause it but all these three gameplays which you're gonna see right now in this video will exactly have everything exactly the same just I'm gonna be changing the graphics level that's it all three will have still 720p HD resolution graphics so shall we begin this video with this video by the way I'm using world loop app I want to give a small shout out to this application just you can buy it for yourself on the Play Store uh, there's also a free version but uh, yeah there's also a free version you can get the free version but you need to kind of watch ads to unlock wallpapers different wallpapers it's absolutely gorgeous uh, if not maybe not for sure it's it is the best live wallpaper out there in jazz for sure again i can't say that i tested so many of them but so far what i tested this one is my favorite one it's my favorite one anyway have a great watching and see you in my next videos Subscribe my YouTube channel and shop online with my links. Buy this smartphone on Gearbest or Banggood. Assalamu Enjoy. Okay, now we're going to test smooth graphics extreme mode with the Poco M3 Snapdragon 662. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Play this game. And just immediately you can notice that on the smooth graphics details, you're going to play PUBG on 60 FPS. There you go, it's small, just some small hiccups, 57, 58, which is fine. There you go, so shortly 56, but this is a nanosecond lag, I would say like that, which is not that noticeable unless you are having an FPS meter, then you can notice if you are looking just at the numbers. But playing the game is very, very hard to notice. So at least for, for now here when I'm, by the way, I'm constantly recording this uh, right now, PUBG gameplay on a different setting. Don't think that I just turned on this phone uh, from one one night or two night nap. <laughs> it was active, all constantly active. So don't tell me uh, you need to play it longer. I did play longer here, the PUBG. And the phone is a little bit warm, but again, it's not overheating, which is good. Again, this is low and cheap. I don't expect that it's gonna overheat with the new technology. Uh, comparing here the graphics, graphic details, smooth graphics, balanced graphics, and HD graphics. But nevertheless, here I would say that the average here is running 58, 59 FPS, bro. At least at this area, I would say it easily, bro. Beautiful, great gaming phone. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that it's running this game really good. Check my gaming review of this phone. Okay, just so this is right now Poco M3 PUBG test HD graphics extreme mode with the GFX tool and everything else is uh, on default ninjas. Some of the options in graphics details are disabled, some of them enabled, but you can notice difference. I will be doing also balanced graphics details. I also will be doing uh, lowest graphics, the smoothest graphics details, and we can have some small comparison all together, so you can see by yourself on the screen uh, differences in the performance. Hi. Okay, here we go, just. Pick it, pick it again, this is HD graphics test with the GFX tool. I will show you uh, on the end uh, what kind of graphic details graphic details I've been using, okay? 
with the GFX2. So we'll be testing smoothest, balanced and HD. Obviously there's no HDR option for the Snapdragon 660, this is a low-end chip. This device does have a full HD resolution, but obviously the full HD resolution is a heavy test even for a proper mid-range smartphones. So that's why I'm testing at 720p resolution this uh, PUBG with the GFX tool. That's why I love GFX tool ninjas. Uh, because you can lower the graphics and make your game smoother. Example, Poco M3 has does have a Snapdragon 662 full HD resolution, but full HD resolution is just too heavy, just too heavy test for the slow and chip ninjas. What I'm seeing right now here, it's running average. I would say it like that: 50 FPS ninjas, average 50 FPS. Especially here, when I'm moving around quickly and shooting at the enemies, it's running 48 to 52 FPS. So average 50 FPS, we can say it like that. Obviously, in some areas inside of the building, it can run to from 55 to 60 FPS, which is still impressive. But repeat again, I disable the shadows and lighting effects, like you see yourself. Okay, guys, welcome back. So this is Poco M3, a gaming test, a GFX tool, 720p, a balanced graphics ninja, Snapdragon 660, a Dino 610. Let's do it. Let's do it immediately. You can have the FPS counter on the top left corner. Here we go, Ninjas. I will just show you again right now the settings. Check it out, balanced extreme mode using GFX tool and everything as else is Ninjas. Uh, this is 720p resolution because this is a low-end chip. And everything else is on default. I didn't touch anything else. You can probably notice here, right? There's no shadows at all. Lighting effects are also disabled or under default, minimum to the minimum. This is crazy great performance here for this cheap budget phone, just. Obviously, it doesn't have a constant 60 FPS uh, uh, in every single map, etc., etc. Some maps will run almost close to 60 FPS, like like with the sustained performance, some maps ninjas will have some hiccups and it will be dropping to 45, 50, 55 FPS. <laughs> nice beautiful bro check this out Poco M3 Ninjas 6000 image battery 6.53 inch screen full HD stereo speakers Ninjas fingerprint sensor face ID uh, Snapdragon 662 amazing okay, now we're gonna test smooth graphics extreme mode with the Poco M3 Snapdragon 662 okay here we go let's do it play this game And just immediately you can notice that on the smooth graphics details you're gonna play PUBG on 60 FPS. There you go, it's small, just some small hiccups, 57, 58, which is fine. There you go, so shortly 56, but this is a nanosecond lag, I would say it like that, which is not that noticeable unless you are having an FPS meter, then you can notice if you are looking just at the numbers. But playing the game is very, very hard to notice. So at least from for now here when I'm... By the way, I'm constantly recording this uh, right now PUBG gameplay on a different setting. Don't think that I just turned on this phone uh, from one one night or two night nap. <laughs> it was active, all constantly active. So don't tell me uh, you need to play it longer. I did play longer here the PUBG. And the phone is a little bit warm. But again, it's not overheating, which is good. Again, this is low and cheap. I don't expect that it's going to overheat with the new technology. Uh, comparing here the graphics, graphic details, smooth graphics, balanced graphics, and HD graphics. 
an illness, but never know what the patient is feeling. Patiently waiting for a new position. Cause we conditioned to accept this corrupted system. Always addressing our concerns, they didn't never listen. But nevertheless here, I would say that the average here is running 58-59 FPS, bro. At least at this area, I would say it easily, bro. Beautiful. Great gaming phone. I'm honestly surprised that it's running this game really good. Check my gaming review of this phone. 